Oh my gosh. I did not see this. It must have popped out when I was in South Florida. Look, can you can you see that? It's a banana flower. Oh, let's go take a closer look. I cannot believe this. I had a feeling it's just like overnight. Like I didn't see it a few days ago. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on. My Orinoco. Oh, I cannot believe it. I know it's just a banana flower, but it's my first one. I got a weed whack in here. I've been gone for a week. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at you. I might need to put some bamboo to hold it up just to make sure. So that front section must have opened a few days. I must have missed it. I thought, I mean, I don't know how they, how they go, how they, how they go about themselves, but it seems like they the flower pushes out quick because these look like they've been here for a day open. I'm hoping the bees got to it. I mean, it's been rainy. I don't know if later I should try to pollinate it with my brush. Maybe a wheel. I know, let me zoom out. I didn't know I was so zoomed in. Excuse me if the camera looks kind of crazy. I'm just, uh, I just cannot believe it. Look at that. So as you know, Orinoco is a cold hardy banana. It's because the trunk's thick and a lot of times it will push the flower, the leaf back out, but sometimes you may have to just peel the, the dead part back. You don't have to cut it all the way. But they are actually a type of plantain. Oh, look, there is a bee. Wait, wait, wait. I, I saw an insect fly to it. Let me see. Oh, yeah, they're, they're not honeybees. They look like a, a native bee. It's hard to see. Oh, there's some up in there. So we'll have guarantee pollination. My honeybees haven't figured it out yet. So if you want some Orinoco bananas, I have tons of them. Just let me know, I'm selling them. Thanks to John hooking me up with these a year ago. Some of these are like yellow jackets. Well, I have no issue with you. Thank you for the pollination. My first banana clump. I noticed it because I was getting some yard equipment in the truck and I said, what? Is that a banana flower? And you can see how big the false stem is in them right in here. Some people would call it a trunk, but it's not a true trunk because it's all made out of layers of leaves. You can call it a false stem. It's an easier name to say. And this one will be next. So what I've been trying to do is when these pups get a certain size, I just dig them out and try to keep three or four in here so we can focus all its energy on trying to make a flower soon. And I'm doing what I can to try to keep three to four. That way I keep recycling. So when this finishes making, making the bananas, we'll chop that one up, cut it down. And this one should take its place. And then this one, and then I'll keep a few others keep going wow I just I it's hot out here I just cannot believe it got back from the trip and what a what a surprise all right just wanted to show everybody and you can see I use tree trunks compost um, I have a friend that has cows he, he gives me cow patties that I'll throw down here I do uh, cardboard, coffee grounds. I'll even bury uh, vegetable matter or uh, my fruits and stuff that I've had, like banana peels, uh, mango skins. And then sometimes I just throw them all right here in charcoal. They love the charcoal. You gotta make sure you rinse out the charcoal when you, when you burn in the fire, get a lot of that alkaline, the powder out of it. 
it's pretty much neutral if it's like that if you mix the powder stuff in there you'll make it too uh you'll make it too alkaline the bananas like it at least acidic to neutral but luckily i have tons of compost it keeps it real acidic there you go let's uh let's walk away from it be back later but there you go that's an it's possible i'll catch you later